Okay, so here we have a upper maxillary number one one. I'm gonna take out the die. Okay, and I'm gonna throw some wax on top. Make a coping so that we can support the rest of the wax on the die. Generally just go around the, the die and apply the first coat of wax. This is going to be a short die, so we might just as well stack some wax on top, make it taller. Generous coat. And we can use our breath and blow some air on it to help cool the wax. So now let's stick it back onto the model and we can place our index finger behind just for support and maybe lubricate the finger a little bit so the wax won't stick to our finger, the skin of our finger. So keep on adding and stacking up the wax, make it taller until we reach the proper incisor length. <coughs> Okay, so here we just take care of this in the proximal area, make sure we have enough bulk, otherwise this will be hollow. The other way is to uh, take out the dye and add more wax to the proximal area when we are almost done. Okay, so keep on stacking. Let's just do the mesial half first, so get an idea how long it should be. Okay. So we could turn around and fill in. No fixed way to kind of add and stack up the wax or whichever you like. But this is now easier because you can kind of establish the easier half. Keep on adding. Okay, now let's turn it around. Let's do the lingual side this time. works against the uh, cooler temperature skin that way you support the height okay so slide it down and this way we continue to fill in the gap
Add a little bit of this green wax, which is a little bit harder wax, so that we could do a little bit of carving after it cools down. Okay, now we're going to take out Take out the dye Fill in the proximal area How much we have to add to bring up it? Uh, the let's say this the marginal ridge to the same height. Let's see. Now I have to work behind the camera, so it is a little bit of a distance away from my body, and I have to look through under the camera. So it's a bit difficult to work like that. Now I'm just adding enough bulk to the crown so that I have enough surface height to do some carving. Okay, so let's just smooth it out. The hot spatula. I'm using an electric waxer which is uh, temperature uh, is predetermined by setting electronically so for those who are using the Bunsen burner you have to control the heat and you can use your breath and blow on the hot wax to help it uh, kind of cool down so let's see I think we have enough here so let me cool it down with my finger. Okay, so very quickly I use the uh, sharp edge to do a little bit of contouring, slight carving, smooth out the surface. And we have pretty much our central. Yeah, well, that's like ten and a half minutes now, so I should be able to do a wax full contour in less than five or eight minutes. Okay, so let's see. So let's do a little bit of cingulum carving, okay? So let's do the marginal ridge. Just slowly carve it down. Slowly carve it down, mesial, and kind of go down. Now on the singular, you dig in like that. Okay, you dig in like that. So what we do is create two kind of flame-like structure, and all we need is to just smooth it out gently. Okay. 
no two single lumps are alike so it's up to you to create okay so now this is roughly but the idea is there Shy here, this delay. Let's add to it. Okay, there you go. So we're almost there now. Wax is uh, kind of easy to add and remove so in any case so we can just go kind of smooth on this okay, we can use a uh, alcohol torch also to kind of blow and uh, smooth out the surface so there you go we have our um, Okay, and then that's it. We need to clean up some more. We can take the dye, take it out of the dye, clean it up. Okay, central. Okay, and we can inspect it from the uh, incisor view and a fa facial view and that's it that's your wax up maxillary central thank you